Yo, now Gojo Clan, you know it ain't a reaction day if your boy ain't got into the videos and did a reaction his damn self. Now today we're gonna be reacting to the preview to season 12 of Naraka Blade Point and there's a lot of changes that we can expect with this, man. I've seen a few things on Twitter and everything like that and I was gonna do a reaction to it, you know, a little bit ago, but I'm glad I waited cause now we got ourselves a nice juicy little 12 minute video to react to. So man, let me just go ahead and say this and get this out the way, y'all. If you end up liking the video, leave a like on the video. Hit that little thumbs up button down there that y'all see on my video because that helps me a lot with the algorithm pushes the video out more gets me more eyes on the channel y'all know we need to grow the gojo clan man we are a real cult and lastly get you some popcorn get you some juice get you some candy whatever you need because we're gonna be sitting here we're gonna be watching we're gonna be listening and seeing if it's a lot of good things to come in this season so let's start off strong okay now real quick because this is just how the video starts out uh, let's make sure we got the highest quality okay we do so you see how he parry right it's the dodge mechanic that's apparently supposed to be new. Like how he dodged like that and was still able to use the go focus strike after the counter. So he countered, dodged, go focus strike. Apparently that's going to be a new thing in here. And that's supposed to be something that has never been in the game before. Oh, it's shooting water. See, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing here besides the particles. And then the ground changing for a split second. A new game mode. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to read. I'm a mute because I don't want y'all to hear me eating and smacking. <laughs> okay. So we got a system rework. Let's see. A new glyph system, right? Let me see it. Okay. But essentially they oh yeah, 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 yeah. See, here we go. So they reworked the, the potential system. And this is almost giving a it's giving like Star Wars. This is kind of how they have it where you get to go through the chart and choose what you want to do. I'm seeing a lot of different things, symbols, because obviously I can't read Chinese. I'm, I'm not great like that, but I'm assuming some of these are new. I would assume they also recycle some of the same ones that people love and, and like to use, but it looks like they recycled. It also looks like you get to level up because it's an 18 in there. So I'm assuming that's a level up system. We'll see when they keep talking. So says the solar ones focus on rage and ultimate. So that's the red color or maroon. Lunar ones on counter and rescues. Oh, okay. And then the Omni is uh, pacing. So like stamina, I'm assuming. And then the, the blue ones are the materials and currencies. Okay, I, I like how they broke it up. So medium and majors uh, focus on effects. You'll get powerful effects once. Oh, see, look, I didn't, I didn't read it fast enough. I'm a slow reader. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm seeing that. So in order to get the, the thing that you want, you have to get the lower tier um, potentials first and then work your way up the, the solar system chart. That's about fair. Oh, you cap out at 18 points, okay. So it's not a level. And you got to make choices, but you'll be able to activate them. Uh, so yeah, it says, but you'll be able to activate the major nodes of two types, okay. See, yeah, so they did keep some of the, the fan favorites and they added new effects. So the Lunar Medium uh, no Free Spirit, for example. This one allows you to dodge after a counter and then execute that counter. See, I knew it, I knew it. So there's a new one called Yin Yang. It reduces the damage taken upon using your ultimate. Really? Oh yeah, 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 that's significant. So before he was getting hit in the body, for 344 and now is only getting hit for 275. 
So they also made changes to when you boost up your luck and before it was supposed to actually like help you get higher tier loot. Well, apparently now they have levels for it and it actually works a lot better than they had it in the original. We'll add the new potential system to the test servers on April 3rd. Ooh, oh my god, the content is about to go crazy. Oh, and they're going to actually share the potential builds that you guys could use on their social media accounts if you follow them on there. So that's nice. And that's all we got for the um, potential system. Oh, shit! The new hero early access and existing hero skills and ultimate reworks. This is what we want to see, y'all. Two weeks earlier in the test servers that oh wow. Okay. We'll be able to collect feedback. Okay. Okay, here we go. So here's the changes to the existing heroes. Right. So if you guys didn't know, every hero is getting ready to lose one of their uh, uh, skills and ultimates. But it's not like they're just losing it and there's nothing else happening. They're essentially reworking every single character. And they're going to be unique and different in a way. So it's like everybody gets either a buff or a nerf. It just depends on how you look at it. So hopefully we get to see some of that today. Okay, here we go. Hottie. Okay, so they're making his skill one and three all together. So that's one skill just put together. Here we go, here's a look of it. Hmm. So they got rid of Hadi's first ultimate and made changes to his second and third. They're removing the weak points on Tianhai's giant's leg? Wow! And they're going to increase his combos? Tianhai might be the wave depending on how they make these changes. So this is the first little half of the changes. So not every single hero apparently is going to get changed in the first half of the update. So you guys see up here which abilities are going to be merged, which one is removed, adjusted the values, and then we have removed the divine bell on the blast part anyways on Tianhai. They removed that. They removed um, one of his ultimates. And then they are making changes to his Titan form. And then in the second half, we're going to get Yueshan and Tessas. So they plan to change all the skills and ultimates by the end of the year for everybody. Okay. A new casual mode? Oh, this must be that little ball thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, the only way to hit your foe is to use the ball? That's kind of cool. A fun, exciting way to play the game. 
，你可以选择按下右键将球传给队友，也可以选择其他操作方式。Oh, that's fire！ 扑向你前方的敌人，球的速度将在一次又一次的传递中变得越来越快。Oh, it'll just keep getting faster and faster as you keep countering it. That's clean. 在多个回合中，累积最高积分的队伍。Oh, we might have to make a whole video on that. 其他玩家都可以获得积分。Immortal War adjustments. We're making changes to some of the exciting ones too, to make Immortal War, Immortal War more exciting. They're making adjustments. Oh, for more intense experience, I thought it was already pretty intense. Okay. They're adding more equipment to the Rift Dealer. Okay. They also about to boost the rewards. Dark tie coins gains on kills increased over time. Mm. Oh, the the Rift dealer is gonna have the cave key now. Okay. So it's gonna have more rewards. What? The, oh, there's a gold rift dealer. This shit can block bullets. To encourage the close quarter combat. Oh my gosh. Rebirth Charms is starting April 3rd on the test servers. Let's try it out with the new Immortal Wars. Wow! The casual mode rotates weekly instead of... Oh, whoa, 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 every few hours? Hold on now. You don't have to wait that long for certain modes? Oh, y'all speaking our language! Yeah. Also undergo changes? Really? Okay, what? Wait, wait, wait. So this season, they're saying, why is this season called Tenacity, right? So they said it's related to the newest hero's ability to control metal. To control metal. Baby Magneto is about to join the damn game. Ooh, several legendary weapons will appear as heroes. Yorohime will get a new outfit featuring a Chinese. Okay. Oh, I gotta get on all the social medias. Oh, Yue Shan's mech that everyone's looking forward to? Is it finally coming? We'll, we'll, blah, 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 blah. It's gonna be released this season. Shit! Uh -huh. That was a lot to take in. That was a lot of reading. But boy, 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 are we getting some shit. So we're getting a new hero, new game modes, weekly rotation on the, the casual modes, which everyone loves, improvements to the immortal uh, gameplay, improvements to the overall gameplay mechanics, changes to the system so that we can actually feel like we're really, really upgrading and making changes specifically for our heroes. And that's all in the first half of the update. This is crazy. A nigga is about to go crazy with these videos. I hope y'all are ready. And if you are excited, if you're just as excited as me, y'all, I'm telling you right now, you need to sub to the channel because I'm about to drop video after video after video in this bitch. Oh my God, I'm excited. Yo, boys, excited, okay? Gojo Clan, that's all I got for y'all today, bro. Stay tuned. If you want to see an early access video of the new hero, you definitely want to be sub to the channel. Like I said, like this video, sub to the channel, and that's all I got. Peace of hair grease.